So I like, when I was doing my drawing video, I noticed how farty my chair is. <laughs> Twin one! Howdy! Hey, I'm Twin One. I'm Twin A. And today we're looking at r slash nice guys. So, any big plans for tonight, hun? Any more parties? <laughs> Yeah, everyone knows Tuesday is the day to party, but nah, staying in with a smoothie and TV. You're awesome, I swear. Me, probs, just Netflix and wishing I was joining you for that smoothie. Ha. <laughs> Cozy pajama evening for you then. I'm jealous. You doing okay, hon? Didn't hear from you all day. Must have been a busy one, huh? Sorry, I'm just worried. Hey, sorry, I'm trying to sleep right now. Good night. Good morning! Gorgeous in your profile pic, by the way. What are you up to? Any plans for tonight? Dinner? I make a seriously good roast. Let me know ASAP, please! So I organize. Hey, sorry, dude. I appreciate the offer, but honestly, I'm swamped with work and need to plan a lot of upcoming projects. I have to decline, I'm afraid. Tomorrow then? Yes or no? Sorry, bud, but I literally just said that my foreseeable future is going to be entirely work related. So I can't. Well, this weekend then? Surely you can take a Sunday off. All work and no play. <laughs> Let's go for a drive somewhere and then maybe dinner at mine. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freelance. Weekends are even busier than weekdays for, for me. So no. Sorry, dude. Have a great week anyways. Well, tell me when you're free. Sure. I will do that. No, I mean, tell me now, so that I can make plans. So, how's work? Did you get my previous messages, huh? Dude, I'm sorry, but I'm genuinely busy. Yeah, we're all busy, but a reply costs no time at all. Okay, listen, this boogie woogie really isn't for me, so I'm just going to come out and say it. I like you, okay? I genuinely do. I have no idea why, but it happened. When I met you, something just clicked. Right away, I knew you were a beautiful and dedicated person and that I wanted to know more about you and see you again. I feel like we had great chemistry and I loved chatting and making you laugh. Your smile made my heart melt. It's why I'm so excited at meeting you again. And this whole slow texting thing, short cold replies and ghosting for hours at a time just isn't doing it for me. I miss how it felt to talk to you face to face, and I just wish you'd give us a chance to try that again. So there I am, cards on the table. Your move. Hello! I just need a clear darn answer, that's all! I'm not asking you to move mountains here. Forget it! <laughs> Forget it! I regret opening up at all. Sorry for trying to be nice. Just delete my number. This is embarrassing. Part of me feels bad for this guy just because like I know how it is to like someone and not know why. But we'll see how nasty he gets. Because <laughs> it's too early to tell yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What is wrong with you? What the hell do you mean you like me? We met like four days ago and you don't, even know, you don't know a thing about me. I don't even know your last name. I don't care. What the hell is up with that crazy Disney Prince emotional outburst? And I'm constantly nagging me you're like 40 years old. I'm only 34. Sorry for being honest and upfront. <laughs> you don't need to act like a crazy bumblebee about it. All I did was ask out a girl I fell a spark with. It's called being a gentleman. I'm the crazy bumblebee, am I? You followed me around whilst I was trying to work pestering me to talk to you, and then you said you were looking for a photographer and asked for my card. Obviously, that was a lot. If you'd been honest and upfront in the first place and asked me out, I'd have turned you down from the start. Oh, I see. <laughs> so being polite and nice to someone is called pestering nowadays, is it? Is it? I must have missed that part. Stink! I was thinking I was being friendly, offering you a drink and polite conversation, and instead I'm s big creepy scumbag. LOL. Oh my god, I had no idea! It was an open bar. Now please stop talking to me. It's the men your age that have given you such a pervy view of guys in general. I'm guessing you've been treated like poop. 
passed around so much that you mistook a nice decent bloke for another scumbag. So sorry for wasting your precious stupid time, princess. Dude, I swear I'll block you. Life tip. Maybe next time you're doing your so-called professional work, don't wear a tight black dress that makes you look like a whore you'll get less attention. Or maybe you depend on your arse hanging out to get clients. Ah, such a gentleman. Well, here's your life tip. Just because a shirt fit you 10 years ago doesn't mean it still fits now. For a comb over to work, you actually need enough hair to comb over. Doesn't feel nice, does it? Now grow up, stop creeping on women, just doing their jobs, and F the H off. Stupid cat woman. Take your dumb, wacky attitude and go penetrate yourself with it. Wasting my gosh darn time. <laughs> so that guy's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of defending him a little bit early on, but like I said, it was too early to tell. He got a little nasty. Well, and like, she she clearly wasn't interested. Yeah. Like, you say like, I need an answer now. And it's like, you got, you got it. The problem here is that he requires the rejection and then rejects the rejection. Why, little bronies? That's not the right answer. <laughs> Why do bronies complain about the game? That's what, Dutch? Oh, Russian? <laughs> <laughs> Why do bronies complain about getting friend zoned? Isn't friendship supposed to be magic? Hey, want me to come over and treat you right like the good old days? You ignoring me now? Real classy. You still at blank? Because it ain't nothing for me to drive 15 minutes to teach you a lesson in manners. I'm calling the police! I wasn't actually gonna do anything. Please don't call. You know I never hurt you, please. I'm sorry. December 23rd, 2019. Hi! Hi! How are you? Who is this? I'm Joseph. Want to talk to you. I'm sorry, I don't know you or don't remember who you are. All these hearts make me assume you're messaging me for a certain purpose, so I'm sorry, but I'm not interested. I have a long-term boyfriend. Have a nice day. Yes, you said that before. I thought you broke up with him after these months. Okay, I'll get back to you after. One year to check the status. No, we didn't, and don't. <laughs> See you after one year! As of September 2020, back to you! Please don't! No, thank you! March 25th, 2020. Hi, Nikki! Why don't nice guys get girls? Because nice isn't a personality trait. Being nice is being walked over. Become a butthole! Or get a good jawline? Your choice. Man, go to bed. No, you. Your only two options in life to get a girlfriend are to one, become a butthole, and two, get cosmetic surgery to get a better jawline. That's it. Hey there, cutie. Do you happen to have a Snapchat or a kick? I'm a 20-year-old college boy and would love to talk more. I've never talked to a girl like you, so go easy on me. <laughs> 20 minutes later. <laughs> this will come on strange, but your body is absolutely stunning. Your breasts are so geometric and spherical that it's mesmerizing me in my penile region. Would you bless me and allow me to gaze upon your naked flesh just once? You stupid, entitled whore! Ignore all of us nice guys and never give us a chance! I don't care either, you're just Disgusting, and you probably have a loose vagina. I'm not an F boy looking for my next victim. I'm funny. I'm funny looking. I can't send ding dong pics because I'm still trying to find it. I do take the piss out of myself because it hurts less when others do it. I have a job. And I can't believe he's single. I know, I can't believe. Like, he can't find his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Most 95% of girls in my school are terrible human beings. Two, all the terrible guys get the good girls. Three, I'm a good guy, which means I don't get anyone. Four, anime girls don't exist. Has he ever been to an anime convention though? Cause, well what kind of anime girls does he mean? Does he mean girls who are into anime? 
No, he means like ant. Like, does he mean girls who dress up as anime? He means anime characters, like like, like Sakura Haruno, but like Orihime. <laughs> he wants to date Orihime. But no, the thing is, like, those are like just actually like fictional characters well, in a screen. Yeah, you act like you were not a young girl wanting to date Jasper Cullen. But like, it wasn't like I. Know <laughs> hey, just so you know. Guys don't like it when girls are bisexual. It's a turn off. What? <laughs> I don't get that. He, no, he's he, he he's turned off by it. That's all it is. He's turned off by it. Yeah. Not guys. Him. <laughs> yeah, like really, most guys I think would find that pretty hot if their girlfriend was in the girls. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like if their girlfriend wanted to bring another girl in. A lot of guys would be very into that. There's a lot of guys. So I get, I don't know what this guy's talking about saying, it's a turn off, guys don't like it when girls do that. No sir, you don't like it. Hello, what's up hottie? Hey, hello, I've seen that you've seen my message. Why would you let anyone on scene? It's cruel, just wanted to check up on you. Hi, I'm working, uh, who are you again? We don't know each other, but uh, we have Bethany as common friends. I've sent you a Facebook friend request. Hello? You still there? Why are you so slow? Uh, yes, but I don't accept strangers. Uh, Bethany told me she doesn't know who you are. Oh, you don't accept strangers? Why are you on social media then? It's crazy nowadays, you can't even talk with girls. How are you supposed to be in a relationship? You just leave people on scene. You seem way too arrogant for me, actually. Same, same, same! Effing witch! You aren't special! You're just a sludge dumpster. All right, well, this was r slash nice guys. Uh, be sure to click subscribe to our channel. Please leave a comment. Uh, let us know what other subreddits you want us to check out and we'll see you next time bye did you destroy part of it oh yeah kick his ass yeah okay yeah. <laughs>